All right, welcome back to Self, that sleep, exercise, love, and food. As always, I'm Dr. Sean Hashmi. Now, today's topic is about kidney transplantation and what can you do to improve the odds of the transplanted kidney living longer and lowering your risk of overall death. So when we think about kidney transplantation, one of the things that's so amazing is science has come such a long ways. It is truly a life-saving procedure. But there are risks such as increased risk for infections going on. And of course, there's a risk that your body might actually reject the transplanted kidney, or we call that graft rejection going on. So there's an interesting study. This was published in kidney medicine where they basically looked at a marker that we always look at, which is serum bicarbonate levels. And what they found was that these serum bicarbonate levels actually correlated with a reduced risk of transplant loss and a reduced risk of death going on. Now, the reason this is such a big deal is for serum or blood bicarbonate levels, you can absolutely do something right now to help improve those going on. And we're going to get to that. But for those of you guys who don't understand what bicarbonate is, basically bicarbonate is you can look at it like baking soda. It's going to help to maintain that normal pH between the acid and the base. So it's working as a base or a buffer going on. And so what happens there is, is the way we measure bicarbonate is, is we look at the amount of dissolved carbon dioxide or CO2 in the blood going on. So if you measure the CO2 in the blood and it's low, that's going to tell you that your bicarbonate is low going on. So What's a normal bicarbonate? It ought to be between 22 to 29 milliequivalents per liter going on. More importantly, what this study looks at is what part of that 22 to 29 is really the optimal range. So let's dive into the data here. So this study was a retrospective analysis of data from the integrated claims clinical data set. Optum of U.S. patients between 2007 and 2019. Now, the authors ended up looking at about 1,900 kidney transplant patients. They had an average follow-up of about two and a half years. Not that long, but it's still helpful to see because the data on this study is consistent with a lot of the other studies that are showing how bicarbonate can be very helpful going on. So, As always, the authors always try to account for confounders that may be there. There can always be some that they might have missed, but overall, they did a good job of looking at all of the confounding variables. And what they found was that after following up for about two and a half years, there was a correlation that for every one milliequivalents per liter, essentially every one point increase in serum bicarbonate, there was a significantly lower risk of graft loss, meaning the risk of losing your kidney by 10%. The risk of death went down by 8%. And the risk of major cardiac events went down by 4%. And the risk of hospitalizations went down by 8%. So what are the implications of this study in your own life? It's actually very simple. As you shift from a predominantly Western standard American diet, which is meat heavy, and you shift to more whole grains, fruits, vegetables, legumes, seeds, nuts, you're going to create more of an alkaline environment inside your body. Your kidneys do a very good job of acting as a buffer, but you can still raise your bicarbonate a little bit. And basically what the authors in the study found was that if you get more closer to the upper limits of that normal range that we talked about, remember the normal values were 22 to 29. As you get closer to the higher level, meaning closer to that 29 numbers, it can actually be correlated to more of a preserving function, both for your transplanted kidney and your risk of death going on. Now, keep in mind, this data is consistent with data in chronic kidney disease as well. And there you have it. As always, I want to thank you guys so much for checking out this episode. If you have any questions, comments, or you want to talk about what the next topic should be, just drop those in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.